hey what's going on guys in this video we are going to see about increment operator now let's go ahead and see some examples of that now first i'm going to introduce the integer type of variable let's call this one apple you can name anything you want right so i'm going to i'm going to call this one apple and also i'm going to give a value for this one let's call this let's assign 20 okay now here i'm going to show you how the increment operator works so first, uh, since this is an integer type of variable, we have to put percentage percentage d, or you can use percentage i. This is for integer type of variable, okay? And we put backslash n for the new line, and then we are going to put apple right here. This is our variable. This is the name we gave to this integer type of variable, okay? Now we are going to do the increment for this variable. So what I put, I put apple, and increment is plus plus. Okay, so when you put plus plus, it should increase by one. Now, after we done this plus plus, we have to really see whether did it do the increment. To see this, to see this one, I'm going to this copy this printf statement and also paste it here. So from this one, you can see what what will be the value before it do the increment operator and what happens after it does the increment operator. Okay. Now let's go ahead and run this one and see what we get. Here you can see we are getting 20 and 21 because first we pre gave a printf statement without doing the increment operator. That's why it's 20. And after we do the increment operator, it increased by one. So that's why we, we are having 21 after this, okay? And this same, goes, same thing goes to decrement. De for decrement, we put minus minus. So when we do the decrement, it decreased by one. So here you can see 20, 19. Now this is a, this is also work if you put in front, like for example, instead of putting plus plus after this, if I put plus plus before this, it should give the same results. Okay, 20, 21. But there's a difference to this, like you can say both work in the same way, but there's a difference to this. Now let's see how it works. So first, uh, uh, for to see that clearly, I'm going to create another program. Let's uh, Let's go ahead and create two integers let's say integer a and uh, let's give some value let's say 5 and let's uh, assign another variable let's say b and i'm going to give the value 10 for this okay and uh, first uh, also i'm going to assign another one answer let's assign 0 for that for, for now okay now what we are going to do First, uh, to see this one clearly, I'm going to create an equation for this. So let's uh, get rid of all these things. So here I'm going to create an equation to see this clearly. How does the, that before plus like we have seen, we can do the increment operator like we can put the plus plus sign in the left hand side and also we can put the left uh, plus plus sign in the right hand side. We saw that both works in the same way but when we assign equations like this, it's going to so the difference what's the difference in between putting it in left hand side and putting it in right hand side now let's go ahead and create the equation for that so here i'm going to say answer that is equal to let's say plus plus first uh, let's see what happens if we do the plus plus first and then a i multiply this one by b okay and then the next one i'm gonna do the like also we have to see the answer to see the answer we put a printf statement for this printf statement and here I'm going to say answer and then since this is an integer type of variable we have to put a percentage d and then backslash n for the new line and here what we want to print we want to print the answer so here it's going to show the answer in the display okay now this is our first printf statement and this is our first assigned variables now also we have to see what happens if we put the plus plus after we so let's go ahead and see this one what we get okay when you run this one it shows 60 because it did the increment first like before we had 5 so when you do the increment that's 6 6 times this b is 10 value so if you multiply 6 times 10 you should get 60 that's why we are having 60 right here now we are going to see what happens if we put plus plus after this a now let's go ahead and create the code for that so to do that i'm going to copy paste this one but when you do this again we already introduced integer a and b already right 
it's here so we don't have to put it again but we have to put a is equal to 5 b is equal to 10 because we changed it previously we had a 5 a is equal to 5 but we turned that one into 6 so to set this one to reset this one we have to always do the resetting like a is equal to 5 again and b is equal to 10 again and answer equal to 0 again right otherwise it will bring the previous answer and previous a b value to this one and confuse everything now i said a is equal to 5 again b is equal to 10 again and answer is equal to 0 again so we can see what happens if we use this equation okay now here we want to see what happens if we put the plus plus after this a so let's go ahead and do that right here now let's go ahead and run this one and see the difference now here you can see for the first one we have 60 and for the second one we have 50 that's the difference like for the first one what we did we put the plus plus sign before this a so what it did was we it did the increment first and then it applied the equation right so it start here do the increment first do the increment right here and then it started to run the this equation but here what it did was like if you put the plus plus after this it's going to run the equation first and then it did the increment right here so do the increment after this so it it ran as 5 first and then it did the increment that's why for the second one we have 50 because it didn't change when when it run the equation it didn't change first it was 5 5 times 10 it's 50 that's why we are getting 50 then after it run the equation it change it did the increment that's how this plus plus this increment operator work and this is some basic stuff to know about increment operator i hope this helps thanks for watching if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and if you want to use these codes it's in my blogger i put this in my description so you can try this one out i hope this helps see you next time